What is going on everyone? So in this week's video, I wanna talk about the importance of manually focusing your video when creating vlogs or video journals or whatever you wanna call them. I'm not really on board with the word vlog. I don't know why, it just seems kinda of weird to me. So I've always just used video journal. Uh, but if you've watched any of my videos dating back to, I don't know, for quite a few years now, ever since I really started using a, a DSLR, so maybe 2012 is when this started, I manually focus all of the clips. And there might be a couple times here and then where I had to use autofocus, but I've learned through the years that autofocus will let you down. Um, it just, it makes it more work. Uh, chances are it's not gonna focus quite exactly where you want it to. It might hunt for focus a little bit when you don't want to. It might focus on the background or focus too close. Low light can be difficult. But even if everything is great and it's focusing perfectly, you still might have an issue where the sound of the focus motor gets pulled up in the audio itself. I know that, that can certainly happen for my RX100 here. So there's two cameras that I use. I use a Sony a7S II, which I'm using to record this video right now. And on that, I use two different Zeiss lenses. They're both manual focus only, so there's no autofocus at all. Uh, Zeiss Loxia 21 millimeter and then a Zeiss Loxia 50 millimeter. And I can be walking around, holding the camera out in front of me on a tripod, and it's focused perfectly on my face every single time. Low light, no problem, it does the job. So I'm gonna tell you how it is that I've been able to manually focus that camera so accurately each time. This is the other camera I use. This is the RX100 Mark V from Sony. So this is my lightweight video kit. I'll use this if I'm backpacking and other things kind of along those lines. Uh, these cameras are kind of a pain to manually focus if you use the methods that are kind of built in. But I've got another kind of cool way of making it really easy to manually focus on this camera to make sure that it does not focus hunt and the focus is perfect every single time. So let's start by talking about the RX100 Mark V and how it is I have this camera configured for manual focus. Then we'll talk about the Sony a7S II. So I love the Sony RX100 Mark V because it's a nice compact camera. It's got a pretty good size sensor, fast lens, and works really well for doing video. It's got the little flippy screen on there, which is gonna help this whole process. But these cameras, when you're recording video, they're gonna be in the continuous focus mode. It's gonna constantly search for focus. There is not an ability to put it into a single focus mode where it just focuses on your face and holds the focus, because that's really what I wanna have. I wanna use autofocus in order to lock on the face then basically have it just hold that focus in place. But with two different custom functions, I was able to configure the camera to do exactly what I need, and it works really, really well. So let's take a look at the custom settings. So in the custom settings menu, we're gonna look down for custom key shoot, and in there you'll see um, the C button and the center button. These are the two that I have reprogrammed to have sort of a different use. The C button, I said that's a focus standard, the center button, I set that to AF, MF, control, toggle, which sounds really fancy, but it's actually pretty easy. So with these two custom functions set, uh, we're gonna use this button right here, the little trash can button right down here in the corner, which is easy to grab. We're gonna use that, and then we're gonna use this button here because this is all gonna be done while you're looking at the front of the camera so you can make sure it's actually focused on your face. So I'm gonna start by hitting the C button here pulls up this little face targeting thing in the middle, put that right on my face and hit the middle button. And now I have a nice box around my face where now I know that it's focused perfectly on my face. Hit the middle button one more time. It's gonna switch the camera to manual focus mode where now I have it where it's focused perfectly on my face so long as it stays at the same distance. This works really, really well. And I use this whether I am setting up a static shot, I'm gonna be hiking through or it's kind of a face shot. But I hit that little, that C button on the back Put the target on where you want to focus, hit the middle button, and then hit the middle button one more time to throw it into manual focus mode. It's going to keep that focus, it's not going to drift, and you're not going to pick up any of the sound of the focus motor in the audio. This camera is supposed to actually have a pretty darn good focusing setup for doing the video, but I find that even as good as this is, it still needs that help in order to give that consistency that you need for doing video. So now let's talk about the Sony a7S II. Of course, the irony of me recording this video right now is that since this is my primary video camera right here, I'm using my RX100 to record video, and I actually had to throw it in autofocus, so who knows, maybe you'll get things wrong here, but otherwise it's a little too much to juggle for this particular setup. But for my Sony a7S II, I love using these Zeiss Loxia lenses. They're manual focus only, which actually makes things a lot easier when I'm out in the field. So if I crank this all the way to the end, to infinity there, uh, in the context of doing video, it's gonna be perfectly in focus for like stars in the sky and sort of stuff along those lines. So it makes it easier when doing 
low light video because I know I can just crank it to infinity and it's good just like that. For still photos, you actually have to pull it back just a tiny little bit to have a true infinity focus. But since I have a really good scale here on this lens, with some trial and error, I was able to figure out exactly how to preset this and how to put it on my tripod in a particular way where I know it's perfectly focused on my face. And I found that if I have the focus set where the, uh, the 16 from F16 right here lines up perfectly with the one right there from one meter, uh, I know that I now have it perfectly pre-focused for the way I normally hold this on a tripod. And it's actually quite liberating because all I have to do is preset this, throw it on the tripod a particular way, and I can record video and know that I have the focus absolutely perfectly nailed. So let's talk about the tripod. Now this is probably gonna make some of you guys cry a little bit. So this is my selfie stick. It's a one series Gitzo. I use this for, obviously for video, um, but I can put my slider on this. I can put a jib arm on it. And it's also my backpacking uh, tripod for my 8x10. So it's overkill as in terms of a selfie stick, but in terms of a video kit, it's something I always have with me, so I use it for doing video. But I find that if I put the camera on here and angle it just the right way and hold it out in front of me, if I have this center column extended just the perfect distance, I know it's going to be focused. And what I did, this is going to make you cry, I took a knife and actually put a mark all the way around the center column there at the perfect height, so all I have to do is hold it out in front of me. I know I'm gonna have perfect focus right in my face as I'm hiking around, and it works really, really well. And we're back to the Sony a7S II, which is great because it is an incredibly hot day today. I cannot run the AC here in my little home office because it gets picked up on the audio. And the RX100 was just about to overheat, so uh, just kind of flew under the wire on that one. But the main purpose of this video is to encourage you to try to find some way to use manual focus when doing your vlogging or your video journals because it does build a sense of consistency. It makes life easier when you're in the field. There's a bit of a learning curve from camera to camera to kind of figure out how to go about doing it. But once you figure it out, it might be something creative like I do for the A7S II where you put it on a tripod a certain way and kind of pre-measure it out. Once I do something like that, put the camera on there, hit record, and I can just walk and talk and I don't have to worry about the focus getting it right. Or the RX100 where there's a couple of custom functions I have to do, but then at that point, it actually makes it pretty easy. What you're probably not gonna wanna do is look at the screen and turn the manual focus ring as you look at the screen because that's gonna be kinda hard to do. But there's some creative ways of doing that, so I'd encourage you guys to look into that because it makes it so you can just concentrate on the content itself when you're out recording video as opposed to wondering if the focus is right or hitting touch screens to try to get the focus to be just right as you're recording because that just kind of takes your mind off it. But I want to thank everyone for watching. We'll see you around next week.